Hey ladies, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys because I had a sister consultant ask me about SenseShare on the phone last night and I said that I would make a quick video about it just because it's a little complicated when you talk about it on the phone. So, um, basically what SenseShare is, for those of you who don't know, is a website that you can pay a service fee every month. I think it's like 10 to $20, I can't remember which one it is. Um, and basically you can post you can schedule posts to your Facebook and whether it be your personal page your VIP page your team page um, Your events for your parties So it really comes in handy especially if you're feeling overwhelmed like oh my gosh I got to post here and I got to post there and I got to post here and I got to post there and every day It's something different. So I schedule my posts ahead of time most of the time I've gotten a little bit lazy about it, but I really need to get back on top of it so that I'm not feeling overwhelmed all the time. But it really helps when you have multiple parties on your books like I do. So a lot of times I'll book 10 to 12 parties a month and hopefully only eight of them hold uh, just so that I can have a full schedule. But that's a lot of Facebook posting if I have to remember all of that on a day-to-day -day basis. And I've got pregnancy brain, so that doesn't work for me. So I wanted to show you just a little bit. Let's uh, share screen here. Uh, let's just, let's go here and I'll move it along. Here we go, send share. Okay, so basically this is what you're gonna see whenever, whenever you log into send share. Over here are all of my scheduled posts. And actually, oops. I want to go ahead and delete this one. No, no, go, go back. I want to go ahead and delete this one so that I can show you how to schedule it. So let's delete that post. Yes. All right. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to hook it up with your Facebook. You're going to link it up. You're going to go over here to my networks. And as you can see here, you've got a drop down for your personal Facebook page and then any groups that you have selected. So what you're going to want to do every time you log on, if you have added any sort of event, uh, any photo album, anything that you want to be able to use on Facebook, you're going to hit refresh. And excuse me, I'm getting over a cold here. So, all right, so I hit refresh and then I'm going to go ahead and hit this arrow drop down next to my timeline. and. You see all these hearts here on the side. Anything that's green is something that's not going to show up for you to post to. So if you want to uh, have those pictures accessible or if you want to have uh, these events accessible, anytime you click on the heart, it's going to turn black. So when it turns black, that means that you can post to it from your Sense Share page. And then down here are my groups. So this is my VIP group and this is any events that I uh, have had in the past. Uh, or the upcoming future. So this was my Peak Friday sale, so I was able to uh, post in those events, and I have since then removed it from the Sense Share page. And then we have um, the Money Train, which is my new uh, group for leads. So anyone who says maybe later on be on joining the opportunity, I'm going to put them in this Money Train group so that they can uh, be the first to be updated on all the opportunities and kit sales, etc. Uh, and then, of course, my team page and any uh, events that have since been done. So we just had our Baltimore uh, Empowerment Summit, so I was posting in there from since share so that I didn't have to remember to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So once you figure out all the different groups that you uh, want to post in, you're going to go ahead go back to your calendar. And we're going to go ahead and create a post so that you guys know how to do it. So as you can see over here, I have a whole bunch of posts already scheduled. And you'll see here that they're sometimes they're posted in multiple sections. And so um, that can be because they're being held on the same day or uh, close to each other. So I just went ahead and posted them at the same time. But then you'll see that these are all the same, but they're posted on different dates. Now that's going to be because they're for different events that are done on different dates. So I want them to be scheduled to go uh, out on a different date. So I basically use the same template for every uh, hostess coaching and every party that I set up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose a file um, and excuse my parents in the background talking about dinner. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just pick um, a funny name. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and go to funny, wherever those are. Oh, here we go, funny. And one of my favorites over here. So you're going to go ahead and pick a file to post. And then let's just post some little clip. So. And I'm going to go ahead and post that on my timeline, my VIP group, and my money train. And then, of course, most of the time, I link up my website to every post that I do, just because you can. Um, and you can throw some hashtags in there if you want. Let's do hashtag, um, I love to laugh, hashtag, I'm funnier than you, hashtag, dirty mind, and hashtag, sorry, not sorry. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and post that on Friday, so that's the 15th. And let's make it for 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And so I've gone ahead and I've checked through all the ones that I want to, and I just click schedule post. And so let's say that you wanted to post to an event. Let's say 20 parties. So you're going to unclick that. You're going to do the drop down, and you're going to go ahead and choose one of your parties that is coming up. So let's go ahead and click this one because I don't think I've set it up yet. And let's go ahead and choose. <laughs> let's do this. Ladies, check your Facebook. I invited you to my party. So then you're going to do a little message. Talk about yourself. Ooh, one. Mm -hmm. If I could spell correctly whenever I'm doing a video, that'd be great. All right, and so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to schedule this post. So let's see, this is on the 31st. Let's go ahead and schedule it for tomorrow at 8 a.m. That sounds good, yes. Then you're going to go ahead and hit schedule post. Um, oh, just kidding. I can only try to schedule it for today. Just kidding. All right. So we'll schedule it for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Perfect. So that's the beginning of me setting up an event for uh, the end of the month. And most of the time, I actually have a template where I have all the texts uh, that I'm going to go ahead and set up and uh, minus the pictures on a Word document. And I literally just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. So that just makes it so much easier for you guys. You could literally set up all your parties uh, for the month at, on the first day of the month if you wanted to. So um, this is definitely a tool that I would utilize if I were you. I think I've had it for about six to eight months now, and it's worth every penny. It's a write-off, so it's really not that much out of pocket, and it saves me a lot of time. So I hope this helps, ladies, and I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions about SimShare, and if you want me to make 
any videos in the future about any other software, such as Media Center, anything on the coup, um, Constant Contact, anything like that. All right, ladies, I will talk to you soon.